I might argue, a language is purely culturally based. Mm -hmm. um, so how would you respond to that? I'd ask what exactly you mean when you say it's purely culturally based. Do you mean that everything anybody knows about their language, they've learned just from being in a particular culture? Is that what you mean when you say? Yes. Okay. So then I would say, uh, yes. Yeah, so, uh, 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 so let's give an example that seems to work. So how does anybody learn that John left is a sentence of English? Well, they're surrounded by English speakers. They hear things like John left and they say, oh, John left is a sentence. So more complicated sentence. Ramon thinks he is a good interviewer. How do they learn that the he there can mean Ramon? Well, they hear it in a particular context and they sort of dope out what the speaker is, the thought the speaker is trying to express and say, oh, yeah, so that must express that thought. So now how about the other example I gave? He thinks Ramon is a good interviewer. How does somebody learn that that he can't be Ramon? See, to learn that something can be something else, you say, well, you'll hear the evidence for it. But what evidence is there that the he can't be Ramon? <laughs> and uh, the Chomsky and linguistics writings, Chomsky and Chomsky and linguistics writings, are filled with phenomena like that. Things that uh, clearly, by any test you can think of, every speaker knows, but that just as clearly they couldn't have learned. They just had no evidence for them. <laughs> Chomsky calls that an argument from the poverty of the stimulus. <laughs> And uh, there are literally thousands of arguments from the poverty of the stimulus in the literature. And, uh, you know, maybe any particular one of them you could find fault with, but there's so many of them. <laughs> and they seem to me so convincing. See, uh, prior to Chomsky, the standard view was the behaviorist view. Everything you know, you've learned. <laughs> Chomsky... Uh, pretty much demolished that point of view. He came up with overwhelming arguments against it of the sort I just mentioned. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but behaviorism is still around. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, it, I don't know, it's like a vampire. You can't kill behaviorism. Chomsky has an interesting theory about why behaviorism can't be killed. It's because behaviorism is innate. <laughs> Our brains are wired in such a way to view the world in a behaviorist way. 